Well, students at Beachwood Elementary came together today to turn an eyesore into a work of art. That's right, a wall littered with graffiti near the baseball field at General Ormsby Mitchell Park was transformed into a mural, and we got a sneak peek ahead of the grand opening. This is what park goers used to be greeted with as they approached the baseball field at General Ormsby Mitchell Park in Fort Mitchell. Now it's donning a new look after the city partnered with a Beachwood Elementary art teacher and her students. They contacted me in the city and said they had this new park and they were interested in a mural if I would be willing to collaborate and bring some students and do a community service project and I thought it was a great opportunity for our students. Sharon Mitchell selected 16 of her sixth grade students. They all picked up their paintbrushes, giving the site a makeover, which took two days to complete. Carter Mulanda was in charge of the inferno orange color in the mural. She had come up with this design of like abstract art and then we just painted in our color and our section. But I was like really excited because I knew we'd be do something, doing something for the community and I really wanted to help out. The students involved say it was exciting to help create something with their own hands that will be admired for years to come. I was really proud of it. I was especially proud of what I had done because after I finished my part of the yellow, I um, got to help other people. So I was really proud that I got to help others and I also got to do my own part. So when I go back and look at it, I can see that what I did and what I accomplished and I can be really proud of that. The Fort Mitchell Public Works Department also got involved prepping the wall by removing graffiti, also priming it for the students. This project is just part of a complete revamp of the city's largest park, which is currently undergoing a nearly $2 million renovation. Mitchell says she's proud of her students and the project came out even better than she imagined. They had a ball and I think it came out great and it's brighter for the community, makes it a warm, happy place, and it's a focal point, I think, of the park. And the park is holding a grand opening on May 2nd at 5.30 in the evening, and so it also they have a new pavilion, they have like walking trails and a new Very playground, cool. so it should be fun. Talk about a glow up, and those yeah. kids are going to be so proud of that for years <laughs> to come every time they go back to that park. They're going like, to show their friends, I did this I did part. that. Yeah, I love it.